We use the product rule when we want to take the derivative of two functions that are being multiplied together. It states that we take the derivative of the first function and multiply it by the second function, and then we add to it the first function times the derivative of the second function. The shorthand way of writing this would be f prime times g plus f times g prime. This video assumes that you know a couple of basic derivative rules. These rules that we're going to use are that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, the derivative of sine x is cosine x, and the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. In our first example, we're multiplying 3x minus 2x squared by 5 plus 4x. So the derivative is going to be the derivative of the first, which would be 3 minus 4x times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second, which would just be 4. And then we need to distribute this so that we can find like terms and simplify the function. So when we do that, I'm going to get 15 plus 12x minus 20x minus 16x squared and then I'm going to get plus 12x minus 8x squared. And when we combine like terms, we get 15 plus 4x minus 24x squared. Now on this particular problem, if I had wanted to multiply the original problem out to begin with, I could have power ruled the whole problem and not use the product rule. But this illustrates how we would use the product rule. There are other problems where we don't have a choice. Let's look at one of those. In this problem, my first function is x, my second function is e to the x. So when we take the derivative, we get the derivative of the first, well the derivative of x is 1, times the second, plus the first, well that's x, times the derivative of the second, well the derivative of the x we just said is e to the x. So, writing out my final answer, I would get e to the x plus x. Okay, here's another example of a problem where I don't have a choice about using the product rule. Now for this part of the problem, that's just going to be the rule about the derivative of sine. But for the first part, I see that I'm multiplying this function by this function. So when we do this problem, Working just with this part first, I'm going to do the derivative of the first, that would be 4x, times the second, plus the first, which is 2x squared, times the derivative of the second. Now the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And I want to make sure I put that in parentheses so that this minus right here doesn't look like subtraction, but looks like a negative sign. And then we're going to move that negative out so we see that it's just a coefficient. Now I need to do the derivative of my negative 2 sine x. Well, we keep the negative 2 as a constant out front, and the derivative of sine is just cosine. So now, let's clean this up a bit, and we get 4x cosine x minus 2x squared times sine x minus 
2 cosine x. And I don't have any like terms to combine, so that's my final answer.